Hey guys, so today is Sunday, December 4th or December 3rd. I think it's December 3rd. Um, we just got done, so this is going to be a very short video. We just wanted to say hi. We love you. We miss you. Um, we got done with church this morning. Um, loved it. One of these days I'll do a video so you guys can see the property out there. And then we went from church to a home group. This there was a couple there that did a home group and there were um how many families one two three i think there were three different families and a bunch of kids that were very similar ages to you guys mm -hmm. warning clara i got to pray with a young girl not young but she's 11 years old so very close to your age clara and she received um the baptism of fire so she received her spiritual prayer language which which was so cool and it reminded me of you guys um it was such a blessing um i love kids i love your guys's ages and um yeah so i'm not gonna get off on tangent but i just want you to know how much i love you and i miss you we spent quite a few hours over there probably three hours over at their house we ate, we did worship together, we prayed together and just communed. And then um, beautiful home, like out in the middle of nowhere. Here, I'm going to show you right now where we're at. So um, you can see, it's just beautiful here, right? Like look at all the trees, the colors. It's December. So like, um, just get you a full view. Of just go back to the colors of the trees it's beautiful and um, we actually weren't very far from here we were maybe like 13 minutes from here and we're now at another home church so there was another some older couples had invited us to go to a house church here so we're just gonna commune together we'll do some worship we'll do some prayer talk about today's message from church which was about spiritual warfare it was awesome I loved it um, an identity yeah talking about our identity and I really um, I really honored that and admired mm -hmm. that about our pastor because I do think that like before you go into spiritual warfare you need to know who you are if you don't have the identity of knowing that you've already mm -hmm. overcome it and God went ahead of you to win mm -hmm. the battle. And all you need to do is say, I'm with you, God. Now I'm going to go through this battle with you. You already went ahead of me. You already mm -hmm. won. Because he's, you know, he knows the end from the beginning. He already did everything for us. And now we have to go through it with him. Um, but knowing who we are, like, that's huge. If we go into a battle and we don't know who we are or what our plan is or even if we think we're gonna win then you're going in with a defeated mind and so he really spoke about identity and our authority as a child of God and really being able to see the battlefield with a different view mm -hmm. and uh, talked about just our own things that we the false reality of our identity so we may think something that the enemy is making us think and we've come into agreement with it. Like, let's just say if you felt like I'll never be able to play the piano. Oh, I'll never be able to play the piano. Well, that wasn't your thought. That was the enemy's thought. And so, and then we came into agreement with it. Mm -hmm. And pastor was talking to us about how there are things in our life that we have taken on as our own identity or we have started to believe something that isn't who we are and he was teaching us how we can just break that off in the name of jesus mm -hmm. and we do that by acknowledging it that means realizing it and then repenting and just saying jesus take this from me i am so sorry i keep calling myself stupid I keep saying that I can't do something and I know who I am, mm -hmm. a child of God, and right. I am above all things and I'm a victor. So um, that was awesome. Yeah. Like, like one of the phrases he was saying as far as um, identifying the lie and replacing it with the truth, well, renouncing the lie and replacing it with the truth, 
that really struck me was when he said, when people say, well, I'm just a sinner saved by grace, um, but I love God. And he says that that's not true. You are a lover of God that sometimes falls into sin or that struggles with sin. But your main identity is you're a lover of God. How that changes everything because the way you see yourself is the your behavior is going to pretty much follow. Your, the inclinations of your heart are going to follow who you think you are. And the most accurate version of who we actually are is told to us by God and by His Word. We find it um, in His Word constantly. He says things like, you are the righteousness of God. You are the apple of my eye. You know, you are my son and my daughter. And I love you. And I never forsake you. I'm always with you. I love you unconditionally. Those realities shape who we really are in our identity, which then shape the way we behave, the way um, we operate in the world. I thought that was very powerful. But that is the battle. The battle is over our minds and over our hearts and what we're going to believe. If we're going to believe the truth of who God says we are and who he says he is over the lies, which are constantly defeating us every time we agree with the lies, every time we buy into those lies, right? That we're worthless, that we're not loved. Lies, lies from the pit of hell. But when we buy them, if I'm worthless, well, then I I start to act like I am worthless. Thank you. Do you want to park up there? Yeah. Okay, yeah. we'll move up. Um, one of the um, one of the hosts, actually, I think the guy who owns the home, he just walked out and said, "You can park up here." So we're gonna move the car um, into the driveway and park up there. Um, that was so good. That is good. That is so true. There's so much truth to that. And um, that we, yeah, there are things that we come into agreement with that aren't who we are at all. And that the enemy is so good at making us think it, especially if he uses other people around us to keep telling us what we're already thinking, which is not what we're thinking. It's what the enemy is making us think um so i love he that does, he does it in such a way that it sounds like it's our own voice yeah and, oh. to make it more believable <laughs> right it's still a lie right yep so um i love you guys i miss you so much um so much i'm gonna give you a hug and then we're gonna have to say goodbye but i love you all right Bye bye. I love you. See ya. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. bye.